the sound of a running faucet, a sound most in the United States take for granted to mean safe, clean drinking water. Those in Milwaukee know better. Because this young Milwaukee man's drinking supply is contaminated with a protozoan parasite, Cryptosporidium parvum. Cryptosporidium parvum is an outlaw that must be stopped. In 1993, C. parvum infected about a fourth of the population of Milwaukee, Wisconsin with cryptosporidiosis, killing about 100 and causing illness in about 400,000. This is the largest outbreak of waterborne disease in the history of the United States. One would think that with modern health standards, the United States would be free of this criminal. However, today, one to two cases for every 100,000 persons occur each year, even in the US. This parasite should be put behind bars, or at least behind airtight doors, away from a water supply at least. With its infectious oocyst that contaminate water through fecal matter, C. parvum is armed and dangerous. Upon ingestion, the oocysts undergo exostation, becoming sporozoites. These sporozoites infiltrate intestinal cells, whereupon new oocysts are formed. Finally, these oocysts are released back into the environment. Because of this, cryptosporidiosis is an acute but usually self-limiting disease with a one to two week duration. Symptoms include frequent watery diarrhea, nausea, vomiting, abdominal cramps, and low-grade fever. However, in immunocompromised individuals, such as AIDS patients or those undergoing transplants or chemotherapy, Cryptosporidium parvum has been known to send one to the crypt. Of course, only after an unhealthy dose of all the normal symptoms plus malaise, weight loss, and cholera-like diarrhea, resulting in a loss of up to 20 liters a day. In this respect, this despicable convict preys on the most vulnerable in our society. Immunocompromised, children too in their dirty daycare centers. Others at increased risk include those who live in areas too poor to treat water, travelers to such places, those in densely populated areas, those engaging in oral or anal sex, and those in close contact with farm animals. As few as 10 oocysts can cause disease, and C. parvum is also remarkably resistant to chlorination, so even treated water may be contaminated. Thus, even in seemingly clean water, C. parvum may be lurking. Uh, yeah, we get some cases of, uh, Crapto, Spartacus, uh, Peruvium around these parts. What was that? What? Well, yeah, you know, my, my philosophy, my, fla my philanthropy is, uh, is this, right? Uh, if I find them, I'm gonna shoot them. That way, when they're dead, they can't hurt nobody, right? So, uh, you know, uh, what's that? Well, no deaths recently, but I personally believe that uh, U.S. Americans, like uh, such as, uh, well, are in danger of their lives. Ah, do I have to do this interview? I was going to go down to Tashi Station and get some power converters. Ah, okay. Cryptosporidium parvum's been at the top of the Jedi Order's most wanted list ever since the demise of Darth Vader. My dad. It's worse than Voldemort. Young Harry is exaggerating a wee bit. I mean, he's the Dark Lord, right? However, C. parvum infection can be quite serious, although it is usually short-lived and mild. There is no safe and effective treatment for cryptosporidiosis apart from supportive care such as oral rehydration if necessary. So... Be on the lookout for Cryptosporidium parvum before it puts you in the crypt.